The interview you will only see here on WVVA News. Our Annie Moore has a one-on-one -on -one with Vice President Mike Pence, who is visiting West Virginia. Mr. Vice President, what an honor to have you here today. Obviously, Thank you, Annie. Obviously a sad day for Republicans on their way to the retreat. What was your first reaction when you heard that? Well, as you know, Annie, I served in Congress for 12 years, and um, my family and I had the opportunity to ride that very same train uh, to come to conferences at the Greenbrier here in West Virginia. And so it's, when we first received word of this, we were, uh, we were very troubled. Uh, but we thank God that it wasn't more serious. Uh, we grieve for the loss of life and pray for those that are recovering from injuries. But uh, uh, we, we have grateful hearts uh, for all these public servants uh, that, that, uh, that this train accident wasn't, wasn't more serious um, than it was. In your speech, you talked a lot about coal. What is this administration's plan to boost exports this year? Well, President Trump is absolutely committed uh, to rebuilding the American economy by rolling back regulations, by passing the, the largest tax cuts and tax reform in American history. And, and also by making sure that we're advancing and expanding access to American energy and that we're ending the war on coal. Uh, what this administration has done is roll back regulations that have stood in the way uh, of the coal industry. It's why you see the kind of growth uh, in West Virginia's economy that you see today because the president ended the so-called clean power plan and the president's absolutely committed. Uh, to whether it's domestic use or whether it's exports to continue to, to make it possible for low-cost American energy for clean coal to be powering the American economy and providing resources to the world. As you pointed out in your speech, West Virginia voted overwhelmingly for Trump, but they're also worried about the rising cost of health care. What will the administration do in the upcoming year to keep these costs under control? But what our administration is now doing is looking for ways that we can give Americans more choices in health care. Very soon, uh, the Department of Labor will be producing guidelines for what are called association health plans. That means that associations like the Restaurant Association in America and maybe, well, the Truckers Association in America will be able to provide insurance nationwide to employees that are in that association. We know this will drive down the cost of health insurance by using the power of the free marketplace. You know, Obamacare was, in effect, a government takeover of health care. It was supposed to lower the cost of health insurance, and the exact opposite happened. We saw the cost of health insurance rise for every American in jurisdictions from West Virginia all across this country. The president truly believes by giving the American people more choices in health care, by allowing people through association plans to buy health insurance across state lines, by continuing to advance the kind of reforms in Medicaid, uh, across this country that will better serve our most vulnerable communities that we're going to be able to improve health care but improve it based on consumer choice and market principles. How will the recently passed tax cuts benefit your average blue-collar West Virginian? Well, they all, the, the president's tax cuts are already benefiting uh, people in West Virginia. We literally today uh, here at Worldwide Equipment uh, were able to to learn that, that all of their 1,100 employees have already received a bonus in the wake of the president's tax cuts, which is not rare. Three million Americans have already received bonuses as a direct result, in most cases, of the president's tax cuts. Uh, we're, we're already seeing wages beginning to rise around the country. Our economy is expanding. And lastly, the question on everyone's mind, will we see Mike Pence on the ticket in 2024? You know, it's the greatest honor of my life to serve as vice president to President Donald Trump. And uh, uh, as we get ready and, and campaign over the next year for the midterm elections to make sure we reelect uh, great Republicans in the House and the Senate, uh, I can't wait uh, to roll my sleeves up and be running for reelection as vice president come 2020. So you haven't made a decision yet. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm honored to be a vice president. I know President Donald Trump is focused on these midterm elections, but the president and I are both be anxious right after we make sure and reelect these strong Republican majorities in Washington, D.C., to roll our sleeves up and, and take our team and take this ticket all across America to victory in 2020 as well. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. Thank you.